In this video, we're going to go over um, how to bring an intervention of 3D geometry into an existing Ecotec uh, file. So, if we've done the previous Ecotec file in this, uh, or Ecotec tutorial in this series, you should know how to export out a GBXML file from Revit into a Microsoft Notepad, and then from that into Ecotec, and how to uh, assign materials to your pieces. So that is good for designing your um, baseline of the space that you're working on. Now, the other options are now for putting in your interventions would be to actually model it in Ecotec using the modeling tools here, which are a little clunky and hard to use. Or what makes more sense is to, using your Revit file, extract out the intervention that you're, you want, you're already designing in the Revit file for analysis in Ecotec. So to do that, we're going to switch on over here to Revit. So in this case, what I've done is on top of the, the base uh, design or base space, I've added in some um, cloud ceilings that I would like to bring into Ecotec and test how they change the room. So what, what I need to do now is get this 3D geometry into Ecotec. To do that, we're going to make sure you go into a 3D view where you can see your, your uh, the entire model. I'm going to make sure I have no crop region on. So this is cropped down using a section box, which it shows up in the properties. So just make sure you have a section box on and it is cropped down so that you can see what you want to come out. Because when you export as 3D geometry in Revit, what happens is the um, it will actually cut off the top of your room or whatever you're cutting in the section box. In this case, I'm only really aiming for these pieces. I'm just going to bring the rest in to make sure it all fits correctly. Um, so now to export, you go up to the big R, export, and in this case we're doing CAD formats, and we want it to be a DXF file. It's okay, we're not exporting any masses. Typically, if you have a visibility graphic set to show the mass, it'll export. That's what's going out. Looks good. Next. Let's save it right in the desktop. Yep. And now I'm going to jump back to Ecotec. So now in here, what we're going to do is import the file. So uh, we go to File, Import, and it's Previously, we brought in uh, model analysis data when we were bringing in the XML file. Now we're going to be doing 3D CAD geometry. So I hit OK on that. We are going to select the file. And um, it doesn't really matter what materials it gives anything here where it's guessing it a lot. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything except the interventions and then apply a material to them. So we don't need to spend time picking materials for all of these items that are going to get deleted. What we do need to do is scale the objects correctly. This is just something from going uh, from metric to inches. It's it, it, You want to try and find the scale that brings it into the model correctly. In, in this case is in this model's case it is actually 25.4 which is a metric to uh, inches um, conversion just like how there's 2.54 centimeters in each inch that's what the, that's basically what we're converting it with now sometimes you might find that this needs to be 12 just bring them the model in see if it fits if it doesn't fit then you know to come back and re-import it with a different scale Make sure you click Import into Existing. You don't want to open as new or you close the model that you have open. So Import into Existing. You'll see what it did was it put it right on the top of the model that was already in there. And you can see the tops are a little different just because the section box in Revit was cutting off the top of the Revit model. You'll also notice that there is two different colors. The reason for that is it's two different zones. So when we come to Zones, Assembly is one, and Assembly 3D View is another. The 3D View is the CAD geometry I just brought in. 
So what I want to do is I'm just going to turn off the assembly so I can see what we have for the uh, for the um, geometry we just brought in, and we can just start deleting the extra pieces off like that. So it's just the pieces that we want. We can select them, come check their material. I'm going to change them to acoustic ceiling tile so they're more absorptive. And now what you probably want to do is, if you haven't already done it, uh, figure out the reverb time for your control space without the intervention. And what you could do is just turn off the zone that your intervention's in right now and turn on the assembly space. So calculate your statistical reverberation, calculate, and that way you at least know what your baseline is. When it is done calculating, it will give you the reverb time, so you can see the curve uh, in here. So what you can do is copy the, gra the graph, save it, and you can save all of the, uh, the actual text data that, go that creates the graph. And you want to do that so that you have that just saved as the baseline for the, the room. Now what we want to do is analyze it with the intervention in there. So what we want to do is switch back to your 3D editor so you can see where we are. Make sure you have your, your assembly or your new geometry turned on. And um, what we're going to do is right click on assembly and say make current. We're going to make the zone that your actual room is in current. And we're going to select, hold down this, I think you hold down the shift key. Oops. And you can just select the objects you want to move into it, right click on them and say go to zone, and uh, we're going to move to current zone. You can see when you do that it changes the color. What you'll find is if you run your analysis and you see no change in the reverberation, that's because it is not running it on this zone, it's only doing one zone at a time. And since this geometry is not in the zone that actually has the room in it, it won't work. So once you've done that, there's nothing left in this zone. You can right click on it and delete it just to keep everything simple. Recalculate. And then we can run back and calculate our reverberation again. And now you can see that the results have significantly changed um, already just in the reverberation. So that's just one test. You can also run through all of your particle tests, bouncing them around the space and seeing how it functions now with your new intervention. And that's how to add your CAD geometry to Ecotect and change the space that you're working on.